Back in 2012, Giorgio the Dr. Petrosian defeated Robin Van Roosman in the finals of the Glory Lightweight Tournament to be crowned the champion. Robin Van Roosman is a very dangerous pressure fighter, known for his durability and hard-hitting combinations. On his way to the finals, he defeated Tim Thomas and Sani Delbe, both by knockout, with many wondering if he could do the same to Petrosian. Right off the bat, Petrosian stabbed and prodded at Van Roosman with jabs and teeps, establishing his range. Van Roosman wants to deliver hard boxing combinations from in close, and the jabs and teeps prevent him from just marching in, disrupting him before he can get going. The lead hand battle is key in the South Borvus Orthodox matchup, and Petrosian established his jab early, and then used a hand trap to stop Roosman and firing back with the left hook, before Petrosian would then steer him and move around to his right, away from the power side of Roosman. This is the major disadvantage of a tight tie guard with the lead hand by the head in a southpaw versus orthodox battle. When the lead hand is close to the head, it is much easier to close the gap. This is why you'll often see outstretched lead hands in southpaw versus orthodox. By constantly moving away from the right hand of Roos Marlin, whilst occupying his left hand, it doesn't leave Van Roos Marlin with many attacking options. Petrosian would set up his power left hand with the jab and a slapping right hook. This forces Roosmarlin to protect the side of his head, leaving himself open down the middle. Petrosian started attacking the legs of Roos Marlin early, another very clever tactic. With Roos Marlin being a punch heavy fighter, his weight was heavy on his front foot. This would help Roos Marlin generate more power in his punches, but making it much more difficult to block the kicks. Petrosian made sure to chip away throughout the bout, accumulating easy points with no deterrent. As frustration started to build with Roos Marlin, he was more prepared to take risks to land, attempting to throw combinations and swing over the top of Petrosian's frames. When the doctor sensed the possibility he might be overwhelmed by a barrage, he would cover up with a high guard and lunge in towards Roos Marlin, smothering his work. He could lure Roos Marlin in first with a false retreat pacing backwards a couple of steps before suddenly coming in, making the smother much more effective and harder to anticipate. Marrying this with a push, he was able to time and evade many of the shots from Roos Marlin, leaving him hitting thin air. This performance really was a kickboxing masterclass by Giorgio Petrosian. Fight. Beautiful front kick. The thing of punching style is that the Persian is content with points. But then Roos Smiley is going to try and knock you out with everything.
Oh, nice head. He throws him all over, all over in this fight. High, low, body, just really working the game. again thanks for watching if you enjoyed the video feel free to like subscribe and share and you can support the channel via patreon the link will be in the bio thanks from pro striking Georgia Petrosian right now. Not at the moment. No. Not on this earth.